What is Junior here again with another movie review? Um, today we're going to review the 1999 film called The Insider. It's directed by Michael Mann and stars Russell Crowe, Al Pacino, Diane Verona, uh, Christopher Plummer, um, David Mazar, Philip Baker Hall, a whole bunch of other people. Um, it's a movie that's based on a true story. It's about um, Jeffrey Wigand, who um, testified in court, or not testified, who um, went on um, who went on 60 Minutes to um, to say that that the tobacco company was actually adding chemicals to make um, cigarettes more and more addictive. Um, it's called impacting, which meant that um, they would add chemicals so that your body would crave the nicotine more than it actually would. Let me show you the Blu-ray, talk about the plot, and then we'll talk about my thoughts on the movie, okay? So this is the insider. Like I said, it, it came out in 1999, and it was a. It, I don't know. I don't know. It was a huge hit, but in terms of critics and stuff, it was a massive hit. It was critically acclaimed, was nominated for seven Academy, Academy Awards, and Russell Crowe was actually nominated for Best Actor. I actually thought that it was probably his best film. But let me show you the Blu-ray. It's very basic right there. I paid fourteen dollars at uh, Weber Records for it. And it's one of those movies where, like, I've always, I've always enjoyed it. When I saw the theater back in 1999, I went to this theater called um, Opera Plaza. And it's one of these little rinky-dink independent theaters, right? And at first, I didn't like it. But then I thought to myself, I saw, I saw it on Blu-ray, uh, not Blu-ray, on DVD a few months later. Bought it, and I, I fell in love with it. I used to have the Blu-ray, the DVD, which was about 30 bucks when it first came out. And I, and I always loved it. I don't know why I sold it, but I did. Um... Anyways, um, this movie, like I said, it's about Jeffrey Wigand, playing by uh, Russell Crowe. Um, he um, he gets fired from one of the uh, from Bronze and Williams, which is supposed to be like the third biggest tobacco company in the country, and he feels um, he feels you know that um, he feels that he should have been fired, and at the same time, right, uh, Al Pacino plays Lowell Bergman, who was a producer of CBS. And Al Pacino, um, he gets a package in the mail uh, that, that is all these scientific studies that have to do with um, cigarettes and stuff. So um, he needs to consult someone, and he, and, he, and he looks up and he figures out that Jerry Wigand is actually the, um, the best guy in the um, business to look at these these documents to make you know to make sense of what they actually mean. So he contacts um, Jerry Wigand, and eventually they meet, and he shows um he shows them the documents and stuff. Jeffrey says that all they, all they are is basically um, um, fire safety studies, right? And he, at the same time, he says, you know, I can only talk about these studies. I can't talk about anything else. So this intrigues Lowell Bergman so that um, he'll um, he kind, of, he kind of pursues Jeffrey Wagon. And he figures out that Jeffrey has all this information about uh, Browns and Williams and how they're um, impacting the, the, the nicotine inside the uh, cigarettes to make them more addictive so people will buy them more. So it's about, it's about the movie is about him going on to um, CBS um, 60 Minutes and all the consequences that, um, that happened. Like, um, he signed confidential agreements, so um, they're threatening to sue CBS. CBS pulls a story. Jeffrey's all, you know, he, you know, he gets threatened by the tobacco company. You know, this this, this um, affects his, his um, relationship with his wife and stuff. And it's just a really fucked up movie after a while, you know. But it's a talking movie, and it's one of the few talking movies I really enjoy. Because sometimes talking movies are great. There's not much action in it. There's not much violence in it. All is just people screaming back and forth each other. And sometimes I enjoy watching the white guys just screaming at each other. Yep. Let me tell you some more thoughts about this movie, okay? So, like I said, this movie was directed by Michael Mann. And Michael Mann is known for Miami Vice. He's known for um, Collateral, which everyone loves on YouTube. He's known for Heat, which is another great movie. And, yeah, I love those two movies. I own them, too. But I don't think they're Michael Mann's best films. I think The Insider is probably his best film. Um, it's one of those movies where even though it's a talking movie and it's really, it's really just you know all this it's back and forth type movie. It's just it's just intriguing and suspenseful. Even if even if you've seen it more than once, um, it reminds me a lot of that movie Ali. Ali had even though it had the you know it had the, it was a biography even though it had like fights and stuff like you know uh, boxing bats. Uh, boxing, you know, bouts, a lot of them just talking, you know, just people sitting around talking about what's going on in their lives and stuff, and I thought it was really good. I personally love The Insider. I think The Insider is one of those movies that everybody should watch. Um, it has a really sharp screenplay, it has really good dialogue. Um, if you're uh, young, right, it does have a lot of Christian, though, and sometimes Jeffrey Wigand, the character, is kind of unlikable, which is interesting, because... Um, 
most of the time when you have movies where like it's a uh, you know uh, whistleblowers and little guy against big companies, the little guy or the you know, the person that's trying to go against a huge company is usually quite sympath uh, sympathetic. But in Jeffrey Wygant's case, not so much. He's an asshole. He's fucking smart. You know he he knows a lot. He knows his shit, and he doesn't like to be pushed around. So sometimes he comes off like an asshole, which is interesting. But you hardly ever see that whenever you have protagonists who are uh, you know going up against big corporations and stuff like that. Um, Russell Crowe plays excellently. I think this is the movie where he should have won Best Actor. I thought he was. He, I thought he did better than Kevin Spacey that year. This is the year of American Beauty. This is the year of Sixth Sense. This is the year of Green Mile. So it was pretty pretty huge year in terms of movies. Um, 1997 to around 2000, pretty pretty strong years, man. You know, 1997 at Titanic, LA Confidential, not Record for a Dream, uh, Boogie Nights. Um, 98 had um, Sam Private Ryan, Elizabeth. Um, 99 had Insider, American Beauty, Green Mile, Six Sense. 2000 had Gladiator, Record for a Dream, Aaron Brockovich, all those kind of movies like that. So it was quite a quite a strong year. He was like in the this was like in the late 90s, so 90s were quite, quite good. Um, I would recommend it, um, especially if you're into movies where, uh, where you show the legal system. This is a really good movie. It's probably the best movie uh, of its kind. Um, yeah, and let me show you the movie one more time. We'll get you guys on your way. So once again, this is Michael Mann's The Insider. It's a really, really fantastic film. Um, I highly recommend you get it. It's pretty pretty cheap on Amazon. I reckon it's around $13.99 or $12.99. Um, like I said, I bought it from Amoeba Records uh, back, uh, I think, earlier this year. And, yeah, this is Michael Mann's Insider. It's one of the best films made in 1999. And it's quite striking how much they go, They talk about how powerful tobacco companies really are. Thanks for thanks for viewing. Um, if you like this video, please you know hit the like button, you know, thumbs up. Or if you like all my, all my reviews and stuff, you can, you can subscribe to my channel. I try to make a um, video every day. So sometimes I'll do two or three videos a day so that I can just upload them because you don't have to work and stuff. But yeah, please subscribe and I hope you guys have a nice day.